So my invitation for you is to just try it, surrender to the process, and notice how your day shifts, how calmer you are, and notice how everything will just fall into alignment. That's it for meditation. The next one is physical workout. Move your body. You want to move your body as much as possible because high yung energy. Okay, like for example, if nasa kama ka lang and you are comfortable, minsan ba yung naka-fetus position ka pa? Di ba parang ang hirap kumilos kasi I'm so small. Parang wala akong gustong gawin. But when you move around and you take up so much space, mas tumataas yung energy mo. That's why when you dance, after you work out, you release happy hormones. Yeah, parang mas alert ka, mas alive ka. So same in the morning. Madami namang available na 10 minutes na high-intensity interval trainings or HIIT. Meron din namang mga 10 minutes na yoga flow na stretching. It doesn't have to be an hour. It doesn't have to be that intense. The most important thing here is you are moving your body. Recently, I enrolled in another fitness program. Sabi sa amin, it's a non-negotiable for us to walk every day for an hour to reach that 10,000 steps. Yun yung target. Pero ako, yung, yung oras yung tinatarget ko. <laughs> so one hour walking in the morning. At 6 a.m., I start walking. Or earlier, kasi by 7, meron kaming workout. What I learned there was this journey is not so tiring because I'm not rushing or pressuring myself to do the intense work right away. Hindi ako nagjo-jog, hindi ako tumatakbo. Malakad lang ako. While I do that, I can also listen to something, to a podcast, an audiobook, or whatsoever, di ba? If you feel that hindi mo bet mag-jogging, tumakbo agad, then start with walking. Sabi ka ni Coach PJ Ibuig, ang aming fitness trainer ngayon, sobrang underrated ng walking. It has so many benefits and yet hindi siya napapansin masyado and hindi siya ginagawa. But it's very convenient for us. Pwede pwede natin siya gawin in the morning. When I started walking sa village, I noticed I am more present in the now. And then I realized I'm just so grateful because it's the kind of space na kinakalakaran ko ngayon. It's so far from where my family and I were before. So, alam mo yun, parang meron ka moment of gratitude which also is a high-frequency emotion. So you want to be elevated. You want to have that elevated emotions then. Third is spend at least an hour for learnings or personal development. Ito dati akala ko ano siya eh. Nung sinabi sa amin to, akala ko new materials each day. Parang you're growing yourself, dami mo natutunan. But then I listened to this audiobook and then the speaker said, listen to just one material for 30 days or more, until it permeates your brain hanggang sa kaya mo nang i-deliver yung speech na yun, kabisado mo na siya. I did that sa isang material ni Kyle sees. It's what will happen after six days of meditation. And it's about the sea money. Pinapakinggan ko siya whenever I do something, kanari magtitiklop ako, maglilinis ako. Something that won't require me to think. So passively, it's in the background. Ginawa ko na rin siyang timer. I notice that every day, there's a certain statement that impacts more than the other. Kasi baka yung iba maisip na, ano ba yan, paulit-ulit na lang. But really, it's helping you grow kasi it's gonna be fed into your subconscious mind. Tapos maa-apply mo na siya sa buhay mo. And every time, ako, my experience is, every time I have a certain situation na parang kailangan ko ng motivation, mapupunta siya sa isip ko. Parang it will show up as a solution. I also listened to this interview na twice ko lang pinakinggan kaya hindi ko matandaan kung, kung sino yung in-interview no, but this person was a successful one. Sabi niya, he listened to a certain Oscar acceptance speech for months and that helped him go through a lot uh, of challenges in his life that helped him improve and show up better. Yun yung gusto mong gawin. Hindi yung pagkatas mo ng isang material. Okay, next material, next material. Mastery. So you want to have mastery here. Para when someone asks you about that material, kayang-kaya mo siyang sabihin as if you were the one who delivered 
the peace. So that's the third one, personal development. And actually, that's the last one. Tatlo lang. First thing, again, meditation. Next is workout. And third is to learn something, personal development. If you can set aside time and just grab your pen and your paper and ask yourself, how does your perfect morning look like? And also raise your awareness, how does it look like now? Ano ba yung na-experience mo? Ano ba yung mga ginagawa mo? Para you know how you can adjust these things so that from point A mo, makakapunta ka sa point B mo sustainably. What can you do to be able to start this morning routine? Who do you need to become? Ito, when I say who do you need to become, what kind of person do you want to be? with this practice? Do you want to be that loving person? Meaning, I am so loving na bibigay ko to sa sarili ko dahil I want to fill my cup first. Or I am a loving person or I, I want to practice self-love today so I'm gonna show up for myself through my morning practice. It can also be being committed. No ifs, no buts, gagawin ko tong morning routine na to. Or ikaw ba dapat yung tao na may integridad. One with your word. Na gagawin mo siya kahit puyat ka, kahit lasing ka the night before. Or better yet, hindi ka magpapakalasing the night before because you are so committed to do your morning practice the next day. So who do you need to become? Lastly, I think the core message of this episode is to fill your cup first. It's never selfish to give that time to yourself in the morning. Be unapologetic. This is my morning. I'm setting my boundary. I won't be answering any email. I won't be answering any calls or messages because I want this time for myself para pag punong-puno na ako ng love, okay? Punong-puno na ako ng pagmamahal sa sarili ko, kaya ko na rin siyang ibigay sa ibang tao. At yung binibigay ko sa ibang tao is just an overflow. Tagas na lang siya. Meaning to say, even if I've given that to other people, hindi ako mauubusan. Kasi yung excess or yung overflow lang naman yung napupunta sa kanila. And I have so much more for me. I hope the raised awareness around morning practice will help you be better in showing up for yourself in the next days of your lives. If you like this episode, I hope you can share it with a friend. You can also follow us on Instagram and subscribe to our YouTube channel at Raising Our Awareness. And you can follow me on my Instagram at May Corpus. Thank you guys. Catch you on our next episode. Once again, I am May with an H and this is Raising Our Awareness.